Guys, today we're gonna make this really cool panel clamping jig that not only keeps your panels, cutting boards, or really anything you wanna glue up nice and straight and even. Uh, this is kind of a variation of something I saw from MTM Wood who does all 3D cutting boards, super cool channel. Uh, glue's really easy to clean up, it's super strong and applies tons of pressure while keeping everything flat. So uh, let's get into the build. Hey, Jonathan Katz Moses from the future here. Just so you know, uh, although this is a great way to put in bolts into jigs and things like that, we're gonna end up uh, changing this. Uh, towards the end of the video, we're gonna throw in some T-track. So, grain of salt on this next part. Okay, so now we're gonna build a torsion box-like frame underneath it. Just something very simple, but that keeps it flat, you know. Uh, a big piece of plywood like this usually is twisted a little bit. Uh, also, <laughs> when you're cutting veneered plywood, I feel so dumb that I didn't do this. Make sure to tape your cuts. You see like there's tons of chip out on these dados. And granted it's an old dado stack, but uh, I should have taped those and that would have made sure that it didn't get chip out. Luckily this is just shop furniture and we don't care, but it still bugs me a little bit. But we don't hide our mistakes on this channel. We know that we fix them, although there's not much to do to fix this unless you redo it. However, it's not gonna affect the functionality of it and uh, I'm just gonna let it go. So let's build a frame underneath this. We're gonna mill up our fences. I think I'm gonna use hardwood, make sure it's super nice and square. Not that that really matters because when you're clamping a panel or a cutting board, it helps with that it's square, but it's not gonna make a massive difference if it's not perfect. Let's get to it. I think I'm gonna build the frame out of like just two by four lumber uh, and just mill it up. So let's get to it. All right, so we've got our torsion box-ish frame built. This thing is super flat and sturdy now. Uh, and we're gonna work on our fences. Now, I'm going to be using like a high-grade plywood like Baltic Birch, or you could use hardwood. Uh, you're gonna want something that holds a thread, basically, uh, because we're gonna be putting quarter 20 bolts in there, and that's what's gonna give the clamping pressure, and we're gonna tap those holes. So you wanna make sure of a couple things. One, that your fence is not wider than your tap because you wanna be able to tap the whole hole. Uh, and the other thing is you wanna make sure that it's gonna hold that thread. So if you were to use something like pine, uh, you know, it may work, but I don't know if those threads are gonna hold up over time, especially if you're using this thing all the time. So hardwood or high quality plywood will work great for you. So I'm gonna rip the, I've got some half inch Baltic birch, rip it into strips, stack it up, glue it, make sure it's straight and square. And uh, we're gonna attach one fence and the other one is gonna get holes for the bolts for the T-track. And then we'll put in our white tube, cut our slots in the moving fence so that the white tube isn't gonna get in the way. And then we're gonna wrap this thing up. All right, so we've got this thing done and boy does it look cool. 
So the way this works is this fence slides, and I'm gonna show you, we're gonna glue up a panel here in a second. This fence slides, you put a call in between your panel, your cutting board, whatever you're gluing up, uh, and then you just tighten down your bolts. So you, you bring your call in and your fence, tighten it up, and uh, then tighten your bolts, you're gonna get tons of clamping pressure. One other thing you can do is take a piece that goes across this way and I would set it over your runners and then you could just take little blocks that raise this up slightly above and then clamp it down and if you're having problems with your panel going up this way then you can use that to keep it flat against the table. So let's get into a glue up here and let me show you how this works. All right, so um, that worked. We got a decent glue up, but I didn't really like the clamping pressure I got. And what I realized I did was, instead of using a T-track router bit, I used a keyhole router bit, which you use in the back of picture frames to create that hole where a nail goes in and you can slide the picture frame down. So my slot ended up being just a little too big for the bolt to get good gripping pressure, and it just wasn't pushing on the glue up like I wanted it to. So. Really quickly, we're gonna add some T-Track and redo that glue up. And like I said, we don't hide our mistakes on this channel, we fix them. So we're gonna add some T-Track. I might do another row of T-Track just to uh, get a little bit more pressure. We'll see if it's even needed. Um, but let's do that really quickly and re-glue this up. Wow, guys, now this thing is strong and it kicks butt. In fact, you can see I already wiped this away and we're still getting squeeze out. This is some phenomenal clamping pressure. You saw that shot with the ruler. We've got a perfectly flat glue up with no biscuits, no dominoes. Uh, you could then take this thing and if you got a small shop, you could go hang it on the wall or just lay it up vertical somewhere so that it's not in the way so you can keep moving on with your projects. This is a great alternative to buying a ton of pipe clamps or trying to get a panel. You know, sometimes when you have pipe clamps and parallel clamps, if you go too hard, they have a tendency to bow panels in the middle. So this is a great jig uh, to just have around, especially in some of those kind of specialty situations where you may not have the right size clamps, that kind of thing. You could make something like this and it scales up and down. So uh, you could make it any size you want. Um, you saw I put the screws in the T-Track. Those weren't permanent. Those were just to clamp while the epoxy dried. By the way, there's a Total Boat coupon down in the description uh, for 15% off, which is a great deal on Total Boat. They, they have some great stuff. In fact, they just came out with some five minute epoxy. It's pretty cool, I think. I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard it's kind of cool. So. Guys, uh, great project. The T-Track I used will be linked down below in case you're interested in getting that. I like it because it matches my stop block, but probably any T-Track would work. Thanks for watching, and uh, by the time you're watching this, I'll be on my way back from Atlanta from WorkbenchCon, which I'm sure if it was anything like last year was a wonderful time. Uh, I promised my dog sitter, Kaya, I'd give her a shout out. So, hey, thanks for watching my diabetic 12-year-old, beautiful, wonderful, sweet shop dog. Um, guys, if you want to support the channel, head over to the Cat's Moses store, which is linked down below in both the pinned comment and description. Pick up a stop block, a dovetail jigger, a t-shirt. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe in the shop. Have a wonderful day.